lest you think I'm off on some crazy juvenile expedition. I must remind you that I have to auto-tune. I don't like doing it. I don't like having to run the bike through its rev range and hear the engine scream and the blast that I've been down through gears. I don't like doing that at all. It's not fun, but a guy's gonna do what a guy's gonna do. sake of the bike it's for the greater good it's not for me I mean it's a Saturday I should be productive I shouldn't be engaging in whimsical activities usually this takes a few days we'll see excuse to rev it. Not that it's some high revving inline four, but it's still kind of fun. Well guys, usually I try to spare you guys from this, but not today. Like I said, we have to create a good in mind. Tesla, once again, I'm sorry dude. Nice mix between some highway like I'm doing now and you want to get the back roads too so you can get those slow starts and fast starts and you can get those second gear kind of rolls. You just want to like to get a feel for what you're going to do on the throttle at any given speed and at any given rev. At least that's what I think we're aiming for. Hopefully I'm onto the concept here. I know nothing beats a you know, straight dyno tune. Just get on the bike and have someone run it through and make the appropriate adjustments with the, uh, a more flexible fuel controller, but whatever makes you smile, right? Life is short. Be kind and smile. It's downshift here. It's gonna feel for the cruising is six. really shouldn't be breaking certain speeds in this thing anyway because well it's not meant to deal with high speeds you know anything over 100 miles an hour it's you're on the wrong bike man I'm on a soft tail a real soft tail not one of those new ones just no motorcycles around here this is uh, how do I say this nicely? Uh, Yuppieville? Yes, yeah, Yuppieville. So, I don't even have to look off my shoulder to see if someone's behind me on a bike to give them space because I already know the answer. It's no. For any of you who aren't familiar with the term yuppie, I think it stands for young, up and coming, professional poodle. 
I live here, so... I'm not superior or anything. But man, is it... It's, it's pretty, but it's boring. Woo! No character. See things like little Lexus hybrids and... Mazda SUVs. Teslas. All over the place. That's, that's when they get risky around here, they buy a Tesla. That's the wild thing to do. Wow, I'm in trouble. I'm going the same way this, this cluster of cattle is going. Fairly annoying, I gotta say. This is why I say with the map thing, just learn your directions because look at me. I'm gonna go insane here with this Google Maps thing, connecting or not connecting to my phone. I see a lot of cameras using image stabilization on the video, even YouTube has a way of correcting that, or used to. I haven't looked into it lately. But I know one of the things I disliked about my prior Sony camera is that it would make everything appear so smooth and it wouldn't, wouldn't in any way communicate the experience. You know, it's, it's not that smooth. You're on a motorcycle. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't look like you're just riding on a pillow. Unless the bike is a pillow, of course. I know it may make some people sick seeing it, but I guess it'd also make you sick to be on a motorcycle if that's the case. So I really can't completely mimic the experience, but I just keep it raw. I just turn the image stabilization off. If the, what you're looking at is more important than the actual, the rider's experience or the wearer's experience, then yeah, I'm sure it's great if you want the image to stay stable and crisp and all that good stuff. likes it. Hit it! Wow, I can say when you really dig into the, the throttle on this bike, it burns through gas. I went from a full tank to but a half tank and a pretty short ride. Especially that high speed and just really laying into it in fifth gear. The 80 to 100 stuff. This town is like, you can tell there are parts of it that have been here since 1850. I and mean, it's just, it's kind of nice actually. So it's a very sort of uh, simple layout. It has a real old school feel to it. Strange place for a KTM dealer though. I know there's dirt bikes around and all that, but... We got here a Sposta. You feel that back tire get a little squirmy sometimes. You need to be careful because there's so much torque in this thing. You slide right out. You're just going to take it easy, but you want to hit it. Just asking for it. So it's a 2016 Supala, right? I mean a 72. 72. 72, that's right. What's the paint color called? I have no clue. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's called Awesome? Yeah. It's dude. called Friggin' Awesome? Flake, gold <laughs> called Gold Digger. It's cool. You don't see, that's what's cool. I think it's blacked out nowadays. You don't see the chrome. Yeah. And you see paint like this a lot. That's what's really cool about it. I really like that vintage, like, 70s, you know? That yeah. Style, so. Yeah. This is going to come back in too. When all the blacked out thing is over, you're going to start seeing some cool paint and more chrome. Yeah, the guy who actually uh, traded this in, he traded in for a black, like a flat black bike. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's following the theme. Yep. We, we'll all be back, believe me. 
And those bars stock, or did he put those? Yeah, uh, all stock. Really? Like yeah. the only thing cool mini apes. Is the, is this? Yeah. And, uh, and a sissy bar in the back. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bar helps. You can strap anything onto that thing if you get yeah, some right. cord. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. And I even got an extra. Um, I can't really see, but it's pretty thick. Like it's a little bit thick. Actually, it's about the. It's the same thickness as. Yeah. It. Is that Harley or something else? You no, know, um, I had my friend made it. Oh really? Yeah. That's awesome. Custom fabric. Look at this thing here. That thing, yeah. Is that a light? Yeah. It's, like it's functional. Thing. No, I haven't. I haven't uh, wired it up. Yet. Yeah. It will be. Yeah. That's awesome though. It's it a fits. Work in progress, you know. That's what's cool, you can touch it up slowly and yeah. enjoy it in the meantime. And the only thing that came um, custom or whatever, aftermarket, uh, on the bike when I got it, were these the grips, yep. uh, the mirrors, and then these, and the pedals. Yeah. But it's nice, get, that's the best way to buy a bike a year or two old, as somebody's already done the basics on. Yeah. A lot of times you get like an exhaust and like mirrors and bars and stuff. Yeah. The stuff that costs like two, three, four grand. That you'll never see again yeah. if you resell it. No, it's true. Yeah. That's the best way to go. So he kind of did that stuff, and I like it. I'll keep it, you know, like for sure. And I, some I don't have to spend money on. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Shit. You get it as it is. Nice man. I'll put up. I'll put up on the channel that I have. It's yeah. called my channel is called uh, Minner M I N N E R Space Q. Okay. Yeah, right. and it's a weird name. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. And the white walls came on it too, right? Yeah, yeah. I just I I, um, I raised the tank up two inches. Oh yeah, yeah. It did have that that tank lift look. You did that? Yeah, I, I did. I lifted. That. It had that look to it. I tucked the wires, and then um, I relocated. Uh, this was under here. Mm -hmm. I relocated to there, and then I had a big fat horn that I put. Oh, right here. There's my the big horn cover, yeah. And then. Um, and I relocated that there. That used to be on the other side of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you've played with it, man, definitely. You said work in progress. Like once I did, once I worked on my bike, I, I felt like it was my, like... Yeah, my, yeah. Like I, it's weird. I, I had, like, a connection. Or something. Well, when it breaks, too, you understand a little better. Oh, yeah. Totally. Even if the wires start coming apart, you know what to check. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Good deal, man. I think people like this sucker. Yeah. Enjoy the day, bud. Yeah, you too, bud. Look at this thing. Road work ahead, and I see this helicopter hovering over the trees with a big rope heading down. What are you guys up to? Where's he going? Look at that thing he's holding. What? It's gonna fly away with that thing dangling? It's gonna dangle that sucker? The helicopter's involved? What's going on? State your porpoise, man. State your porpoise.